Good afternoon. I am Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. How's everybody doing today? Let's see if we can wait for our friends to get here. If I'm really here. Let's go over here. Get going. It's a beautiful day. Yes, I, I think I'm live. Fantastic. There's Betty. Hi, Betty. How are you doing? Are you back home now? How was your trip? I'm just going to give everybody a few minutes to get here. Hi, Pam and Cindy. How are y'all doing? Hey, Libby. There's Tony's here. Hey, Tony and Sandra. Y'all coming in. Oh, Opa's here today. How are you? And there's Anne Marie. Oh, uh, this is going to be a great day. This is going to be a great day. Oh, uh, I know how, that's always the best kind, Betty. You have a great trip, but then you're happy to be home, too. That's good. Hi, Beth and Charlotte and Phyllis and Becky, Liz. Are y'all having as pretty a day as we are? I've had a great day. Oh, no, Tony. We need some, I, I think. Hey, Rhonda, for our flowers. Um... So y'all, today, good afternoon, Kay. And there's Jody. Oh, all our friends are here. Okay, y'all come on in. A sad day. Opa, I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Oh, you're in a mud pit there, Betty. Oh. Were you really, Billy? What were you doing? Hey, Tammy. Oh, I'm so sorry. You've had a rough morning, too. Hi, Norma and Michelle and Karen. We're going to try to turn y'all's day around just by all hanging out together and having a good time. Maybe that'll that'll make things better. Uh, I'm, I got to finally get together with one of my dear friends and have lunch and visit with her. Um, so that was really nice. Uh, though she has lost her precious mother recently. Hey, Luann. Um, oh, Tony, how are you doing? Oh, Opa, you're in my prayers, sweet friend. Message me, okay? Um, now, my friend, whose, whose mother was also a dear friend of mine, um, recently lost her and we got to uh, visit and, and really talk about everything today and just have a nice time. Dames that dine. Hello Rita. Hi Terry and thank you for the stars. You're so sweet. Well, we've got 43 here. Um, so I'm going to go on and tell you what I want to do today. It's going to be a simple day but a fun day I think. We're going to finish out two new wood pieces that Mr. Taterbuggin made that he's going to have available to y'all if you want one. But I wanted one. Isn't it great, Tony? Yeah, I bet. I, uh, my mom could see so much better without her glasses since she had her cataract surgery. Um, I would do it in a heartbeat if I thought it would keep me from having to uh, wear these contacts or glasses. Yes, we are praying for our Opa. Hey, Tammy. Hey, girl. Hey, Penny. So, do you see this little Adirondack chair he built? It's a bird feeder. You know me and birds. I love birds. And I love bird feeders. So, this is a screen in the bottom. So, we'll put either our seeds or our mealworms. We put mealworms out and... Uh, like peanut butter suet for the um, the bluebirds love it. Well, yes, we're just gonna we're gonna take about an hour to just not worry about anything because there's enough worry out there and in here with our friends. We're not we're not gonna worry. We're just gonna craft and talk and have fun and y'all 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 talk to each other however much you want to that makes me happy and 
throw out prayer requests if you've got them, whatever. We're just, this is a safe place to just have a good time and leave our cares and those sadnesses or bad days behind. Do you like it, Michelle? I love this so stinking much. I cannot wait to put it out there on the shepherd's hook. Yes, Terry, he sure will. These will go in the shop probably tonight. I'm going to try my best after I get off live to uh, put the, get these uploaded. So, who's, Judy, thank you for the stars. So, he's worked hard. Now, he designed these yesterday, built them, and has them all ready for us to finish. So, you get them just like this, so you can finish them however you want to. And let, can, uh, let me go on and show you. <laughs> no. Wait, do you see this one, y'all? Are you ready? Are you even ready? Keep these over here. I've got these right here. I'm taking the hangers off. It's a porch swing bird feeder. <laughs> this is so up my alley. This is one of the things I was dreaming up and he actually made it happen. Oh, Carrie, uh, several of you have had bad days today. We were just talking about that. We're gonna take an hour to turn your bad day around and just hang out and have a great time. These will be available to y'all. They'll already be pre-built. Um, it will be too much of a kit. So they'll come to you just like this, unfinished, ready for you to do, to decorate up however you want to. Um, but okay, before I get started painting these, I gotta show you something. The other night, ouch, that shocked me. The other night, I was asked to be a guest, guest crafter in a, a private group, and we built these um, wood sconces. It's got, a, he cut the sconce for me, we put the chicken wire on it, and I just stuffed moss in the holes. I did a silk flower arrangement for the, um, for the live and decided I want this to hang outside. And so today I got some lantana and just potted it right inside there. So this is gonna hang outside on, um, you know, on our deck. It could go on your fence, it can go in your house. Either way, it's however you want to do it. But I wanted to ask y'all if you'd like him to offer, you know, the wood piece that you could just finish out in, uh, in the online shop. Do you love it, Terry? I love this so much. I just love it. I'm, I, I just, can't wait for my lantana to get big and drapey and all over the edge. So I could see petunias in this too really well, but when I saw the lantana, I just had to have that. It's got buds all over it, but I did get that one so you could see it's gonna be uh, yellow. Thank you, Gail, for the stars, I appreciate it. They say, yes, yeah, sconce please, Mr. Tater Buggin. So would you mind hanging that up for me? So, uh, In fact, if you wanna put it on the deck hook, that'd be, ow. Ooh, that got me. Watch that chicken wire when you work with it. You'd love two of those, Terry. Okay, those are going to be so... I do too, Luann. And do you know it's supposed to um, repel mosquitoes? We need that. I'm so glad you like them, Patricia. Yay, I was hoping y'all would love them as much as I do. These are actually things I just really wanted. And I thought, well, why couldn't he make them for y'all too? And he said he absolutely could. So. Pictures of those oh wow i forgot would you do that real quick with your phone because my phone is being used i forget i get so excited to finish these up that i need the the pictures of them for the online shop so he's going to do that real quick is it michelle i love them and uh his grandmother who lived in daytona beach and Anne marie's grandmother um she was a member she was Anne Marie could tell you better than me, but we've got some of her framed documents in our hallway. She was a member of the garden club there, and I think, I mean, she was like 40 years or more. And so she did a, amazing floral arrangements and knew about all flowers. And so when we went down there to visit, I'll never forget, the lantana just grows wild down there, even in the ditches. You know, and I just, oh, I love it. But to her, it was kind of like, it's just a weed. It grows in the ditch, you know. <laughs> hey, Clarice. Did you, Sandra? I have a lantana a plant out on my deck, a bigger one in a pot with some other stuff. But um, 
<laughs> y'all, can y'all see? He's trying to take a picture. <laughs> and Sarge gets between him and the subject. Uh, Terry, we weren't, we really weren't going to put the chicken wire, it, um, that it was just going to be the wood, um, the wood piece so that you could put the chicken wire on it, paint it whatever color you want to or leave it, but y'all tell me, you know, do you have access to like Lowe's? Did you see me go by? <laughs> Lowe's, this is what he deal, we deal with if we try to look at something on the floor. <laughs> Oh, Opa, I understand, sweetie. Don't, yeah. Just please do whatever you need to do. We love you. Hi, Lori. Yeah, we love our Opa. Yeah, I, I thought most people, um, I got mine at Joann's. I know you can get a big roll, or a fairly big roll at Lowe's. And then you have it for other projects, and you can just cut this a little bit larger than, um, send me a message, Terry, so I don't forget that, okay? Yeah, and we'll have the holes drilled for the hanger. What I used for the hanger was actually Dollar Tree wire jute. Have you had seen that at your Dollar Tree? It's jute that already has the wire in it, and so, um, you saw the short man, yeah, going along on his knees. <laughs> uh, you put your finger on it. Oh, was that for stick? Well, yeah. I got it. Never mind. Okay. For scale. Sorry. Um, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's a little short guy. <laughs> and I, now I need a plate. I, I wasn't quite prepared. I just got home about 30 minutes before I was supposed to go live, so thank you. Now we're going. We're going to get this Adirondack chair. What I thought I would do is paint this. Well, it's actually my favorite color, but I also wanted it to look beachy. So I got out my Tropic Bay Blue, which I think is teal, you know, it's what I'd call teal. And then for the screen... Uh, not the screen, but the swing, the porch swing. I want to make it look old. So I'm going to try to give it a weathered look. But I thought while I do this, we'll all at least be together. And you can see how it looks finished up one way. And then, uh, oh, Becky, that makes me so happy. Tell them that's treated wood, so it will last. Outside. Okay, he said to be sure to let y'all know this is treated wood, so it will last outside. Um, and I would suppose, like, after I paint it, we'll seal it, right? To, you know, so oh, the paint, yeah, you would, you to would need it. to seal it, which, using that acrylic paint. you know, you can buy a sealer, a, a sealer at Hobby Lobby. Any spray sealer will do. Oh, okay, Sherry. They're still there. Tater Town's still there. Um, we are even going to have a different version of it coming soon. I'm telling y'all. He is a, he has been busy. There's there's good stuff for y'all. This color um, on the chair, Terry, is called Tropic Tropic Bay Blue Ceram Coat. I just I thought I wanted it um, beachy looking. Hey, Clidia, we were just talking about you. I got to have lunch with Joyce today, and she was talking about how much she enjoyed y'all's camping trip together. That sounded like so much fun to me. Um, but I could see this Adirondack chair painted in, oh, like coral and all the bright colors for that look like they're beachy. And he's got it where you, it'll come with the hanger. I believe it did. He left. I'll have to ask him. I believe it's going to come with the four pieces of nylon rope that are treated, so they should hold up really well. If you'd rather use jute, I personally think jute would probably hold up just fine. I thought I would use Dollar Tree rope, but he, he did the nylon. But you could also take this Adirondack chair and um, nail it to your fence if you want to. I think that would be cute too. It doesn't have to hang on, you know, from a rope. 
Hey Lori, thanks for tossing the taters. I am just so sorry so many of you have had a bad day today. That, that makes me sad. So we're, we're just gonna have to have some non-stressful fun while we're here. Oh, I think I'm really, look how pretty that's gonna be. I really like that. Hi, Karen. I am all about the bird feeders and uh, I think now that I'm back here at the back of the house, it, you know, we turned our screen porch into my studio and I have all the windows. It'll be so nice uh, all summer long to look out and see these cute little pieces hanging out there and the birds enjoying them. I'm gonna try not to get very much as I said it, I said I was going to try not to get very much paint on the screen, and whoop, there it went. Yeah. Cabin in the woods ideas. Are you talking about um, you have a cabin in the woods and you want to decorate it, or tell me what you're, what you're thinking about. Hi, Kathy from Oklahoma. Is anybody new today? Thank you, Karen. We have so much fun doing these projects, you know, coming up with ideas for y'all. Oh, Terry, you're so sweet. Yeah, this, I think this is my favorite color. Don't you love it, Luann? Oh, I love this color. I also, hi, Danita. I hope you've had a good day. A lot of people have not had a good day today. So. All right. And I think since I got to do tater bug and tries last week and I tried the Vaseline technique, I think that's what I'm gonna uh, use for the um, por this, uh, porch swing. Your son has a cabin and you're going to visit. Oh, how nice. Where is it? Is it on a lake or is it in the mountains or what? I love, I love that. So we need to think of what could you, well, do, do they like bird feeders? <laughs> this could be great at a cabin outdoors, attract the birds. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. We've got the screen in the bottom. I even thought this one would be cute, adapted to uh, put like a, a skewer on where you could put a, one of those corn cobs on it for the squirrels. It could be a squirrel feeder. But since Sarge doesn't allow squirrels in this yard, there's no sense in that for us. He's not having it. <laughs> even though we have a lot of squirrels. Creekside in Alaska, oh my goodness. Wow, that even stopped Mr. Taterbuggin in his tracks, that's nice. Okay, y'all, let's brainstorm for Karen. What would be something great she could take to her son's cabin? The squirrels would love this. I think they would really love it if they were allowed in our yard. <laughs> And I don't mind the squirrels, but Sarge does. He won't have it. Oh, okay. Caught your damn thing. To, okay, wait, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Mm. I'm dying to make Mr. Taterbug's tromboli. Could someone post the recipe, please? We posted it. Um, it's posted on my Taterbuggin page. And listen, y'all, he's cooking for you tomorrow night. He's making Udern chicken at, I think he said six o'clock, five o'clock or six o'clock. I'm gonna post that too in the morning. Um, and he's already put the ingredient list out in case you wanna cook along with him and have that for dinner tomorrow night. And somebody, it, it escapes me when I go live, but somebody put, Jody, was it you that put the holy stromboli hashtag on theirs? And I want that to 
trend. I love that hashtag. <laughs> You got to, oh, good, Billy. I want to, you know, let me know how you like it. Oh, Frida, that's wonderful news. I'm so happy to hear that. A wreath would be nice for a cabin. And um, handmade, you need to put your link, Emery. It's, uh, heaven is her, is the H part of ham on handmade. And she makes the most beautiful custom wreaths. And she might be able to customize, as, I mean, I may be speaking out of turn, and Marie can tell you, uh, customize a wreath for you to take for their cabin with the cabin theme or, you know, that Alaska theme. Uh, Linda wants to know if instead of the screen, could you put a wood be uh, bottom for this chair? Sure. Sure. He says, sure, Linda. The screen door would be great for a cabin, too. Yeah, and, you know, I think about, and I know it's a Christmas thing, but y'all help me out. I know, it, like, at Hobby Lobby, some places, there are um, Christmas ornaments that look like little fish hanging, you know, or, you know, you get them for the men in the family or, or your cabin-themed tree or something. That would be so cute to hang on one of those mini screen doors uh, for a cabin. A little fishing basket or something. But I guess you'd have to go to a year-round Christmas store to, to look for something like that right now. Hobby Although, Lobby does it. Hobby Lobby probably does. There's Miss Judy from the Crafty House. Hey, Miss Judy, how are you doing? Thank you, Anne Marie, for posting that. He put the ingredients for the chicken on the tater bugging page. I posted that, I believe it was yesterday morning. Yes. Uh, thank you, Betty. Sure I can. I would recommend the chicken be cooked before we get started. Grill your chicken before. You're not going to show them how you're going to prepare the chicken? Well, I am. Oh, he I, is. Okay. He's going to show you the way he I'll show it. I'll, yeah. I'll do all of it. That too, Tony. Great idea. I'm catching up, y'all. Oh, you're right, Jody. She made those um, sun catchers that, oh, the turquoise valentine. Those would be so pretty for a cabin. Oh, good, Cheryl. I think you'll love it. Still waiting on the baby. Didn't your daughter, uh, was it in it your daughter-in-law? Did she go to the doctor today? I know t today's her um, actual due date, right? Miss Judy's about to have another grandbaby. She's on baby watch. I should have put down painter's tape. I'm sorry. It's a bird feeder. Anyway. It's a bird feeder. That's right. It's not going to matter. All right. Don't have to make too big of a But what I'm going to do now is since I, I know I may come back to this if I don't, I just don't want to run out of time. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like painted up which you know what it looks like painted up, but I want to start on my, um, on my other one. Hello, Diane, welcome from Reno, Nevada. We are painting up these new bird feeders that my husband just put together for me and that we're gonna have in our online shop. It's got a little screen bottom. There are holes in it to hang from a hook, or if you want to put it on your fence, you can do that. So that's what we're doing today. But I'm going to go on and set this aside for a minute, finish it after the fact, take pictures and all that. And I want to put the first coat on um, the screen. Um, why do I keep calling this the green porch? It's not a screen porch. It's a swing. I'm going to put uh, Waverly Antique Wax on first. Oh, that sounds cute, Nancy. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. sure, sure like the screens, it? Mm -mm. But we can do that for sure. You know what? For Tom's sake, instead of... I love it, Frida. I really do. These make me so happy. I squealed when I saw him when he brought them over. I guess I will go on and use... A baby wipe to put this on here. It's gonna take a few, I guess. 
Thank you, Judy. It would be perfect down there in Florida where you are. Okay, Emery says to tell her brother she got to have a swing. We thought you might like that swing. Send money. <laughs> oh, me. Show me the money. I'm, I'm bad, ain't I? He's so bad. What a brother. He is so bad. Oh, God. What'd you do? Oh, no. He got paint on the rope. If I had done that. Just another idea. I made an Adirondack chair to hold my cell phone on my craft table. Oh, that's so cute. Cute and functional. Absolutely. Uh, they're coming soon, Amanda. I didn't know you were here. There's my friend Amanda from Amanda Made. She is doing another five and five this week, if y'all didn't know that. And it's patriotic theme, and it's awesome. So be sure to check that out. Um, these are going, I'm doing my best to get these online tonight. Hey, Darla, how are you? There's my friend Darla, who came to visit me last week. Um, I, yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> This was, you know, we were kind of talking about this. And then Amanda went live at the cutest shop the other day. And um, just as she was walking through a little garden area between the two shops, there was one of these swing feeders hanging there. So I told her, I said, that is so cool. We're going to have those. So, I thought I'd put this on first. Feel free to borrow that idea. We may just have to do it. I think that's a great idea. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. He's got the, uh, he put the, this is, where are you? So, I know it's not finished yet, but this is how it'll hang. Hi, Vivian. Yeah, I want anybody who's new to let me know. I want to welcome you and invite you to um, our page. I do too, Frida. Um, what I thought I would do is stain it first and then put do the Vaseline technique and do the cottage white on the top. What do y'all think? Or do we like it just stained? Oh, who said that? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Betty, for that. Yeah, uh, we've got our, if you don't, if you're not familiar with us, we have our little online store, and we have, I have monthly paint classes that you can choose from at any time, and um, woodblock prints, and unfinished wood kits, and finished wood products just stained okay yeah in my mind I was thinking uh you know an old screen I keep doing an old porch swing that's been hanging at your grandma's house for a long time that the wood has gotten chippy on or the paint has gotten chippy on kind of a vintage look since I've got the bright color on the Adirondack chair no, that's going to be the, the great part. When you get yours, you can do it however you want to. I could even see this one done patriotic, you know, the patriotic napkins, and then seal it. <laughs> Rita, if he starts doing that, that might be grounds for divorce. <laughs> We're only going to talk ideas in the daytime. She asked if we wake each other up at night, in the middle of the night, when we have ideas. I do wake up in the morning thinking up things. It's the craziest thing. I have some of my best ideas at that time, like when you're not really awake and you're still asleep. And um, that's when I get some of my best ideas. I don't know why, but... Oh, thank you, Rita. 
Uh, Darla, we're not selling them as kits. We're going to sell these finished. Not, excuse me, not finished, but put together. Because there are so many parts, and he just felt like it'd probably be easy for y'all, easier for y'all. Uh, we're going to have them in the shop tonight, Brandy. I wanted to uh, show them to you unfinished today and just finish one up, finish each one of them up for you and try to get them on up into the shop tonight. Along with our owls, y'all saw the owls we did. Um, today's Thursday, it was Tuesday. We did owls. We don't normally just do stuff we're gonna have in our shop. I normally bring you, you know, crafting ideas or I try crafts for you. Oh, is Wendy new? Welcome, Wendy. Thank you, Frida. Thank y'all. If I look down and I miss comments, I'm so sorry. I am not ignoring anybody, I promise. I just want to, I would rather sit here and read your comments and chit chat with y'all, honestly. Hey, there's Miss Agnes from Just That Perfect Piece. How are you? I've been gone uh, most of the day and hadn't been able to keep up with all my friends. I, I try to, when I'm here working, I watch them and chat with them. And I'm out of touch right now. Who's it? Am I a hoot? Is it me that's a hoot? Where who would I miss? I like being a hoot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is where you, you can just. Oh, Darla, I can't wait to see them. I cannot wait to see what y'all do. Um, but we're just. Oh, I hope you will, Wendy. I hope you'll come back and uh, join us more. We just have the best time. I'm on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Usually at 4 Central Time. And we just have a good time. This is a, a place where you can just come and relax. And uh, especially if you've had a bad day, like a lot of my friends have had today. And we can chat and talk amongst ourselves and y'all were getting ready to do, we're gearing up in the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle for, um, what is it, Summer Nights? Oh, I forgot. I go live and the names of things are, just leave me. But anyway, it'll be fun. All the details are coming soon. And we're all getting excited to come up with ideas for y'all. That one I think is about had it. So let's pull up this one. Oh, I've got three. Was it a bright idea for me to go on and wear this white when I do this? <laughs> yeah, if y'all are coming on late, these are bird feeders. We've got the porch swing, and I started painting this little Adirondack chair with this, it's got screen in the bottom for bird feeders. I wanted them, and uh, hey, Sarah, Girl, we've got bird feeders that look like little things. And I had been wanting them. And we decided, let's make them available to y'all. Hi, Barbara. In case y'all might want them. And voila, here they are. That man can, he can build, let me tell you. Hey, Barney from Brenham, Texas. Thank you. I missed a question there. <laughs> Lori, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't. Somebody usually calls me out on that. I was trying to look halfway decent to go out in public today and then I just got home and boom, it was time to go live. And I did not think this through, did I? Because you all know I'm a mess. Happy Thursday, Sharon. I'm glad y'all like these as much as I do. I'm I'm pretty giddy over these, I gotta tell ya. Look how pretty that stain looks on them. You really could just stop right there. Let me scroll up for just a second. Uh, what is a tater bug? Oh, that's so great. Thanks for answering that, Betty. Yeah, that's my car. I have a little convertible Volkswagen with that I put eyelashes on. I've had her lots longer than my business 
and uh, when I started this business, this is my second business, I wanted it to include the whole family. Our last name is Tate. Her name's Taterbug, and I decided to call it Taterbuggin. And um, she is our logo, so. And there, when I scroll up, I lose. Yeah, I do too. I should have put my Tater Sweet Taterbug apron on. You're right. <laughs> if you had to know. <laughs> Lori, you're so funny. Yes, these can go outside. That's what they're for. These are going to be, um, you know, hanging outside for bird feeders. This is treated wood. He uses treated wood for that purpose. First time watching, Carla. Oh, we have so many new new people today, and that makes me so happy. I'll just come on in and make yourself at home, because these ladies are the nicest ladies you'll ever want to know. I promise. And we just have a good time here. You know, you think in your head, yeah, I'm just gonna finish this out in an hour on a live and talk to my friends, which that's what we're doing. But um, it takes a little longer than you <laughs> realize. Oh. <laughs> I get Lori's humor. I do, I love Lori's humor. I love it. We got to laugh around here. Because this is a happy, happy place to get away from all the world's woes. Because there are enough of those, aren't there? So, we need a safe space where we know we can come. And all the crafters in our Simple Treasures Crafters. So there's, you know, even outside of the circle there are still a lot of amazing crafters out there that just it's a nice escape it really is and it truly to me when I go live with y'all it feels like you know I, I just spent an hour with my friends kind of hit reset and have a good time for that hour I try to keep it out at an hour sometimes I go over and y'all are welcome to click off anytime you need to, obviously. And uh, then catch the replay if you want to see it. There you go, Betty. <laughs> I'm so glad, Dawn. Yeah, rainy day and you can just, we'll just, we bring each other new ideas. Y'all teach me something every time I go live, which I love. Um, I've got... My business has always been painting. And just when the pandemic hit, it's time to, sometimes you gotta shift gears when you're a small business. And I always loved to craft, but I didn't take the time to do it because of I was so busy painting. So I started doing online paint parties and that's where my lives started. And then I was blessed enough to be invited into the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle which gives me this opportunity to also get to craft. And I'm loving it, it's feeding my soul. And um, I, yesterday I took a day to work on my long overdue custom orders. And I shared one this morning that was just a lettering project. Where is my husband in the other room on my live? He left me. And he went in there, didn't he? So, um, I'm, I'm overdue. On, I, I got to where it was uh, wearing on me. The constant deadlines and stuff. So, I'm taking a break from custom orders right now. And doing this. But also working on catching up on custom orders. And I got to finish... Uh, painting my dear friend's RV and give that to her today for her birthday finally that was last August but there was a pandemic so uh, she got it today 
and they're leaving tomorrow for another trip in their RV, but I'm going to post that tonight so you can see it. And uh, that, so that's just a little bit about me. That, you know, just to say that what my business normally is, is painting. And you'll see a lot of that here, and I'll have the, I have the monthly classes, uh, but I've really enjoyed getting back to crafting. I've crafted all my life, practically. As my sister-in-law can tell you, we have, she and I have always loved to craft together. When she'd come in town, she'd have some great new craft project to show me, and it was so much fun. She and I have always loved to craft together, and, um, oh, which sort of reminds me let me just tell you that sunday's live you know sometimes i don't know what i'm gonna do on the next live but this time i do and i'm gonna have a special guest so you don't want to miss sunday and it's gonna be a lot of laughs and fun i think you'll you'll enjoy it and it's gonna be at four o'clock central on sunday afternoon we've got it all set up for y'all so I hope you'll be back to hang out with us then. They are, Tony. Um, and the thing is, um, most, it got to where most of my custom orders were pet portraits. That's what I specialized in. And um, because it's a catch, it's a, it's a, it's bittersweet, let me say that, because I love doing them, but usually it's because somebody has lost that pet, and uh, I don't take that lightly. My dogs are my family. They're like my kids, but they're with me 24-7. They're with me way more than my kids. Yes, we do, Emory, you're right. Um, and so I realized First of all, I got really behind because I would just take every order because I couldn't bear to say no to anybody. And do you know how you feel? Do, do you remember when um, you were in high school and that term paper was due and you had a deadline and um, it, you were working as hard as you could and it's due tomorrow, but it's not done yet? That awful feeling. I literally got to wear uh, almost every night. That's the dream I had. I was back in school, college or high school, and I had suddenly I knew I had a test the next day that I hadn't prepared for, or I had a paper due, and um, I hadn't started on it yet. Well, it took me a while to realize it was because that I am always stressed out about how late I am. Get a, getting a custom order finished. So I had to cut them off for my own sanity for a little while. I still have pet portraits to do that I got before last Christmas. So, uh, I, I'm just rambling on because I'm talking while I'm doing this. And y'all talk amongst yourself. Thank you, Christy, for the stars. I, I, I'm sure I've missed so much and I'm going to go back after I upload this to the shop tonight, get all my work done. I'm gonna go back and read your comments and just pray that Facebook lets me see all of them because sometimes it's hit or miss. And I try really hard to see them all. But, um, so anyway, I, I hate having to say no to people right now and I, I have been this year because I just needed a break from it. So I hope, I hope one day I'll be able to get back to that because it makes me sad the whole time I'm painting one that's not here anymore. But to see the joy or to hear about the joy um, those pet portraits bring people was everything to me. I mean, it still is. I, I love making people happy. I love that they are like what I do. Every now and then you've got to, uh, especially, you know, when the pandemic hit and I lost, you know, I had my art in a lot of restaurants. They shut down. Um, at the, in the booth that I have at Southern Vintage, uh, the owner was brilliant and really did a huge pivot. When she had to shut the store down, 
she started selling live online every day for us. There was a cut, you know, in sales, but it still kept going. And she still does those lives every Thursday night. So tonight at 7, Southern Vintage Live will be on. So you definitely want to follow that page and do a little online shopping. They ship. But you gotta, we had to really pivot. We didn't know what was going to happen with our business uh, during all of that. And uh, here we are. It's been wonderful. It, it's ended up really wonderful. And my husband got to retire last November. And he's, we've been working together, which has been our dream for quite a while. It is, Rita. It really is. And somebody can accuse me of otherwise, but I, as God is my witness, that's the best part of what I do is making people happy. That's all I want to do. Um, it is. I love making people happy, especially during bad times, you know, when they, things are not, things can get tough. And so to bring joy is a wonderful thing. And if God was good enough to give me something that I could do that would bring people joy, I want to use it. That's what, I think that's what most of us crafters do. You know, we're, we're here to bring y'all joy and a safe place to come and have a good time. Let me just warn you, it's going to be worth it. But there are nooks and crannies, okay? <laughs> Crooks and nannies in this. <laughs> But you do need to keep in mind, this is not going to be a, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be hanging outside with the birds on it. And I doubt they're going to critique your finishing skills. Uh-huh. It does. It really makes sense. I get what you're saying. Um, and if you get to that point where it's wearing you down, uh, you you gotta you gotta shift gears and figure out. Um, so <laughs> right, right, Amanda. Oh, those crannies! What you gonna do about the crannies? Ah, I'm telling you. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna get two. This is um, the back, the bottom, the this, the that. We're not gonna. We're going to move on to the Vaseline and do a little bit at a time and just see how this is going to look because I'm too excited to wait. I, I, you know, I'd be perfectly fine. Oh, we got up over 100. I didn't even know it. Yay. Y'all let your friends know. Thank you. Um, I, I really love it just stained. If that's if that's your jam and that fits your decor, it, it works great. It would work great for me. But you know how it is when you get that one idea in your head and you want to see it done that way? I really want to see it look like an old, old uh, porch swing because when I was growing up, we didn't have one. We didn't have a front porch of the house I lived in. But uh, my grandmother's sister, we'd go over and visit her, and she had one. And my daddy and I would sit on her porch swing and visit and that's a sweet memory so this is only the second time i've done this We're, yeah and second time i've done this and there's 104 pairs of eyes watching okay um i just tried this last week with tater bug and trust so fingers crossed i can remember what i'm doing i remember y'all said lay it on thick where there would be normal wear and tear so i'm thinking edges here and there. I do want it kind of, I really want this looking weathered. And the, you know what? If you, uh, we'll seal these, but I would think there's going to be some natural weathering process outside, obviously. Even though this is treated wood, you leave it hanging up en long enough. <clears throat> Use a lot of Vaseline, Betty says. Okay. Do I hit the nooks harder, Dawn, or the crannies? What do I do? <laughs> Painting a large snowman on a board. It was on the side. Yeah, on a cabinet door. 
I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, thank you so much. You know, um, all these ideas rolling around in my head. I have another tall door like that. Did you, Pat? Oh, my, my other grandmother, I lived with one grandmother. My mom and dad and I lived with one grandmother. The other grandmother had a beautiful porch swing on her little porch. She had an old house, and uh, that's where I loved to sit. I could, I could swing on a front porch swing all day long. Uh, that's something, I've never had a front porch, but I would love that. Did you, artist? I've got another cabinet door like that, and I have an idea for it. And I, I really need to do it pretty soon because it's kind of seasonal. Too much talk. Let's just craft. Did y'all hear what he said? Do y'all know what he's talking about? <laughs> I'm going to go out there and get him. <laughs> that man. I'm going to make him go get a job. <laughs> Do you, Betty? Oh, somebody sent me stars. I do, too. Well, I thank you, Dolly. I can't say that I do, Amanda, because I'm going to die in this house. I love my house. It's little bitty. We've been here for 26 years. I'm not, I even told him when we moved in here all those years ago, I'm going to die in this house. <laughs> Dawn said you scared her. I see that. <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth. And Lisa said, Get smack him. Smack him. <laughs> I, he's lucky he was out of arm's reach. Did, were y'all watching the day I lit the the tiles on fire and I did that craft? And he, I was scared to death, number one. I don't like fire. And he was sitting right next to me and I lit that lighter and he went, boom. I jumped so hard, my contact bounced in my eye. Oh, oh I bet you did, Kay. I would too. You'll add one to that house. I, there you go, Amanda. You know, I wonder if we could do that. He's very handy. We took out our fireplace. Um, we took. He's now. He's telling me what time it is to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, you know what? I was supposed to do. Wasn't I supposed to do this a little bit at a time? Or no? No. no. Well, then I'll go on and do this right here, and we're just gonna call it and see what happens. Start painting a little bit at you a time. Don't have to hurry. I told them if they get tired of me, they can go on and watch the replay, but I just wanted to hang out with them. No, dinner's not ready yet, Frida. <laughs> <laughs> I got a drive by to do. There's a, tell, it's a kindergartner today. He's in the Jeep club. It's a special needs kindergartner who got left out of the graduation ceremonies. Oh, that's right. And they didn't let, so and she's just crazy about jeeps so we're sending 40 something jeeps by her house today i love that i love that thank um, you judy and i'm leaving now and you're leaving now yep well that's that's a good reason to have to leave so he did uh, one time he was leaving during the live for our, was it a 90 what year old 96 years old veteran, veteran. from normandy storm who, yeah, who, yeah who was on normandy was wonderful. But uh, I'll expect to see all of y'all and all your friends tomorrow night. What time? I didn't remember if it was five or six. We're going to do it six o'clock. Okay. Central. And we'll cook together. We'll make it all come out right and have a bunch of fun. Kay said, bless you, as the mom of a special needs kiddo. Yeah. We're that gonna, really touches her heart. We're going to make... me too. We're going to make her day for her. It's wonderful. And we'll make y'all's night tomorrow night. See you then. I gotta go. Bye bye. With Udern Chicken. Do y'all know that story? Udern Chicken. They are, Cindy. His, uh, his, when we had the big snowstorm and got dumped on nine inches of snow and ice here in February, um, they all gave rides to all the healthcare workers. They would get up. He got up, um, it was like three o'clock one morning and had to drive pretty far to pick up a nurse who had to be there at the first shift. And um, they would just, they, they the whole Jeep club coordinated it and drove the healthcare workers wherever they needed to go, picked them up, you know. It was, it was a great thing. That's a really gr good group of people. Oh, we're up to 112? Wonderful, maybe some people got off work. 
Uh, he always takes pictures and videos, Linda, so if you want me to, I'll post them. Um, oh, Judy. Uh, when my youngest, he's 30 now, was in elementary school, uh, when he started was the year that they, um, uh, what, what do you call it? When they allow the special needs kids in, they're actually in the classroom, learning right along with everybody else. Um, oh, he loved those. There were two, and those are his best friends. He, he, he's got a great heart like that. Okay. Do I wipe it off with the paper towel? Is that what I did? Mainstream. Yes, thank you, Sarah. That's it. And uh, he's still friends with one of them. The other one um, passed away uh, just a few years ago. And, yeah, so love to see the pictures. We will do that. I don't know wipe it. I'm going to stop a minute because I'm scared. Do I wipe it with a paper towel? Is that what I do? There's always a lag time, but oh, I really do like it. <laughs> hey, Michelle. We will definitely post the pictures. I just, I don't like hearing that. I don't like exclusivity. I don't, um, okay, I, I don't, I don't like that. Oh, I dry it. I dry it. That's right. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I waited. That's why when I was accused of being exclusive towards someone um, this past weekend, that I really, uh, you know, there are a lot of things I can let go and that don't bother me. But if you uh, accuse me of that, I'm going to have a problem and I'm going to set it straight. Use a paint scraper. Let this take the towel scrape the scraper. Okay. All right. I'm just going to, I just want to see what this first part is and then I'll do the whole thing and just let it dry. Okay, Becky, I understand. It's a long time. Yeah, we're right at an hour. Yeah, some, some people got to go have a life, right? Thank you for being here. I'm, oh, y'all, I'm just going to love the way this looks. I couldn't tell you right now. This is so pretty. This is what I wanted. Um, I'm going to try this first, but let me just show y'all. Just like that, I love. Isn't that fun? Oh, Elizabeth, you're so sweet. Thank you. I did use a paper towel last time. I'm like, okay, let's do that. Okay, it was not you. Uh, it was not you, Kay. That was a misunderstanding. Um, and I, I thought this... If she's here right now. I, I'm not saying any names because she... Anyway, I'm not going to say that. Um, thought that I was excluding her on purpose. I miss comments. We all miss comments. We don't mean to. I would talk, I would honestly, yes it is Elizabeth. I forgot you came on late. Hold on. Look, we, he's got, these are going to be in our shop. It's a, a swing bird feeder and look what else he made. An Adirondack chair. I just didn't finish painting it yet. It's a bird feeder too. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm dying. I need to see Agnes's crackle technique. I want to try a crackle technique so bad. Um, oh, I wish I had done that. I wish I had had time to watch that and do it. Um, I was, uh, Elizabeth and I went to school together from second grade on, and I hope she will back me up on this. I know she would. I was always a person who, I was gonna be friends with everybody. I did not care. I don't care, you know, who you are. I just, I don't like leaving people out. I would never intentionally do that to anybody, ever. So, don't, don't even say that, uh, that that's what I'm doing. <laughs> or I might bite you. <laughs> so, okay, you do the crackle with Mod Podge. So, do you put the Mod Podge... Sherry, I want to. I'll do it. Ta a tater bug and tries crackle painting. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. You are too. You you were friends with everybody too. And you know, where we went to school, sometimes that wasn't always the case. 
and I've been on the receiving end of not being um, accepted or being popular or whatever and it feels very bad and um, or being teased or excluded so never in a million years am I ever gonna do that and I I raised my boys that way and they they've they've always been great at just being friends with everybody and Chris especially he's a social butterfly he's so um, his best friends were the special needs kids in his class and he helped them all the time we would go even when he's a little guy we took field trips to the King's Daughters and Sons um, home and you know how a lot of little kids can, they can be scared. They've never seen it before or whatever, but he had been with Matt and Christy for two years by then, and he just loved on them all. He would go hold their hand. Some of some of the kids were scared, you know. Chris would just go hold their hand. He sang to them. So it made me proud because, yeah, those are the kind of human beings I wanted to raise. We get enough. <laughs> There's enough exclusivity in the world now. Not, uh, that's not, it's not my job to judge anybody, thankfully. I don't, you know, I'm going to leave that up to God. <laughs> that's not my job. I love this. I want to try the crackle technique. So, um, I put Mod Podge on it. Oh, thank you, Becky. I've got to try it. I don't like that, Linda. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't. That hurts my heart. It's, it's, Elizabeth, you get it, I know. And I don't, yeah. To, to ever think that, you know, any one of you has a child who uh, is being excluded for, for any reason. I don't care what the reason is. You know, special needs or, or whatever. Um, color, whatever. That's, mm -mm, nope. She uses Elmer's glue. Okay, wait a minute. Who did I see? Uh, oh, Dara from Lattice and Lace did that on a canvas the other night. And I really loved it. And I said right then, I am going to try that technique. So you can do it with Mod Podge or Elmer's glue, is that right? Okay, that is so sweet. I, I know, there's a, yeah, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta worry about that too. Um, there was, When my son was um, grown and working in the job he's in now, he was, I think he was at a convenience store one day. And um, another person his age walked up and said, are you Christopher Tate? And he said, yeah. He said, I went to middle school with you. And he said, oh, he said, yeah, so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, the guy said, I will never forget you because you were the only one who would sit with me in the cafeteria when nobody else would. And he still remembered my son and that was what he remembered about my son. Um, there's a crackle medium, so we could do that too. I'm gonna do my research and I will go, I'll do a live, uh, I'll try to do that maybe next week with y'all where I, cause I'd like to do, honestly, I don't know when it'll start, but I would like to make every Tuesday a Tater Bug and Tries, Tuesday Tater Bug and Tries, um, where I try some kind of new technique or something that I want to learn how to do with y'all. Because y'all always walk me through it and teach me. Oh, gotta go. Okay, Wendy, thank you for being here. I hope you'll come back and see us. That bothers me, Michelle. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, we've just about done the whole front. And again, this is where the birds are gonna be. Let's face it, there's gonna be bird poop all over it, but I'm just gonna hit it with some paint because when people look out in your backyard and see it, you want it to be cute, right? That's when you look out in the backyard and see it, you wanna see cute.
I'm just doing a little little dry brush on the front here. I would love for you to show me how to do it, Becky. You know, we. I wish I could learn how to do a split screen on my lives so I could just have y'all on some time to show us all how to do something. Wouldn't that be fun? You show me how. In fact, um, hey, Deborah. I'm glad you're here. If you're late, let me show you because we're about done. I'm about to set y'all free. But there's a spot on the back that has no stain. Yeah, this, this whole row, for time's sake, I didn't do the back yet, but I'm gonna finish that out because I didn't want y'all to have to, I was doing crooks and nannies and it was, yeah, getting tedious, I'm sure for y'all. But these, we've got this um, bird feeder, front porch swing. And we have this bird feeder that's a little Adirondack chair that's going to go up in the shop hopefully tonight if I can um, if I can finish these out to take the pictures for it. It's, it's doable. I've just got to figure it out, Sandra. There's so many things I want to learn to do, and um, that's one of them. I have so many things I want to learn to do, and it just takes time. It's easy, Anne-Marie says. Okay. <laughs> right, Amanda. <laughs> uh, thank you, Michelle. Um, so if I can, I'm going to get these finished out just so I can take a picture of them. We also have, it's already hanging out there, but I'll post it. Uh, we're going to have the new outdoor indoor sconces. Amber Strong, I know her. And DIY living with Talisa Lindsay. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, I know, Judy. That's what I say instead of nooks and crannies. I say crooks and nannies. <laughs> One of those silly things I do. Thank you, Rita. Oh, thanks so much. This one really isn't finished yet. Bust out that technique. I wish you would. <gasps> would you please, Amanda? Because I'll be watching. Well, I'm going to be back and forth between you and... Southern Vintage starts at uh, 7, and then you'll start at 7.30. But I'll probably sneak out and come watch you. Don't tell them that. But anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dawn. I, well, thank you. That was very sweet of you to say. Uh, I'm going to dry this a little bit, and I'm going to do the Vaseline wipe-off thing and see how it looks. And uh, then we'll, you know, I won't have... Hmm. You know what? I might go on and put it up in the shop with just the pictures of them unfinished. And then once we get them actually hanging outside as the feeders, which probably will be tomorrow, um, I'll add those pictures to the shop. So y'all don't have to wait. Go start dinner, Tony, and have a great evening. If you had a bad day today, y'all, I hope this made it a little bit better. Because uh, y'all have brightened my day. You always brighten my day. And I appreciate every one of you for being here. Um, and getting excited with me over this. We'll be back Sunday at 5. I say we because I'm going to have a guest crafting with me. We're going to both craft, I think. Thank you, Kay. You're so sweet. And I promise you, no offense. And I hope it didn't offend you. I, no. That was a misunderstanding. And that's the, can I say this? There's a way, there's sometimes you type things out and you don't hear the person's voice. You don't see their face when they say it. So you might take it the wrong way by accident. And normally I, I give people the benefit of the doubt, but in all honesty, I had had a bad couple of days, you know, getting feeling a little beat up, let's say. But when I say, I, when I ask somebody, you know, I hope you didn't mean that the way it came out. And they say, yes, I did mean it that way. What are you going to do? So, sometimes they mean it that way. And so then, whatever. But, oh, tomorrow night, ooh darn chicken. Um, go go find the ingredient list, and he's going to be cooking at 6 o'clock Central tomorrow night. I get to be behind the scenes. I get to see all the comments and answer questions and stuff. 
And, uh, oh, he could do the little picnic table, I bet you. That might be fun. I was saying earlier, we can't have squirrels because our Sarge doesn't like squirrels. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, it is Michelle. And I try to remember that so that I always try to say, I hope you didn't mean that the way it came across to me or you didn't mean it with that. And then when they say, yeah, I did, and then they keep on, <laughs> then we're going to have an issue. But enough of that. Um, so cooking, cooking with Mr. Tater Buggin tomorrow night. Don, I'm gonna try. I've been trying for 35 years, and he's hard to scare. He really is. So, the shop. Thank you, taterbuggin.myshopify.com. You're gonna find this, these finished pieces under in the. Um, I think it's called accessories. It's where I put my art, the, my finished art pieces and things like that. Um, but cruise around on there. See, you might see something else you like. We've got our group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs. Hey, Tammy, you got on here just as I was saying goodbye. We got bird feeders, girl. You got to look. You got to see what we're going to do. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, we've got our page and our um, crafter circle group, Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. There's all kinds of fun to be had. So y'all come on back tomorrow night and cheer uh, Mr. Tater Buggin' on and see what this ooh darn chicken is all about because I'm telling you, it is so good. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell again the story about the ooh darn because that sounds silly, doesn't it? Um, all right, y'all go have a great evening. I love you all very much from the bottom of my heart and I will see you tomorrow night. Bye.